What's up, everybody? PK here. So this is the Carolina rig, okay? And this is the rig that I use for this next episode here, surf fishing on the Oregon coast. Now, the Carolina rig, as you may or may not know, is a very effective rig for bottom fishing. And you can use this rig in salt water or fresh water, or you can fish in a lake, in a river. It doesn't really matter. One nice thing about this rig is that you have a sliding weight so that when the fish bite it, they pull it, they don't feel the resistance. So therefore, they tend to swallow the bait even deeper in the mouth, okay? So that's why you're able to get a better hook set with the Carolina rig. Okay, so let me show you how to tie this rig really quick. All right, just one thing about this Carolina rig, guys. When I'm using the Carolina rig, the leader, which is from the swivel to the hook, it's going to be pretty long. I use about a four to five foot leader at least. The type of line you want to use for your leader is monofilament. You always want to use mono for your uh, leader line. This is 15 pound. I wouldn't go under this because the, the 15 to 20 pound you have it's a much stiffer line so you don't get much tangle. Anything lower I, I notice I get tangle a lot. Okay guys so let's go ahead and show you how to tie this rig really quick. So this is the main rig right here, okay? That's the main line, the red line. To that, you're gonna attach the weight, then you have a bead, and then you have a swivel, and then you have your mono leader here. I use the braid line for this demonstration so it's easier to see, okay? And then again, you wanna keep it at least four to five feet. Sometimes you can go as long as six, seven feet. And then you have your hook, okay? First thing you want to do is you want to get your weights and you want to insert your main line through that weight. Okay, it's just like that. For the solid weights, you can use these no roll sinkers or you can use an egg sinker or these, these steel sinkers or you can even go tungsten weight. It's really up to you. It does not matter one bit. If you don't have those weights, you can use a disc sinker as well. But if you use this, make sure you use one of these line clips and clip it to the weight, just like that. And then, and then attach it to the main line, just like that. So you have your weight, now you wanna put a bead on, right? Just like that. Now you wanna attach the swivel to it, okay? Just like that. So you have your weight, bead, and swivel. Now you wanna attach your leader line Okay, so there's your leader line attached. Now you want to attach your hook to it. Okay, and finally, there you have it. So you have your weight, bead, swivel, leader line, and your hook, okay? So this is the Carolina rig right here, all right? So it's a pretty good rig for surf fishing here. It's something to try um, during your next outing. Now, with a tournament coming up, you you want to go in with several rigs that you already know. So this is a pretty good rig to know. Um, you have your your tried and true high-low rig, okay? So if that doesn't work, if it's slow, you can switch to this rig and try it out. Now, the knot that I use, um, there's three knots, one, two, and three. All three knots are uni knots, okay? Okay, so let me show you how to tie this knot really quick. Now, there's lots of knots you can use. It's up to you, but... I firmly believe in a uni knot, okay? So imagine that is your swivel or your hook eye, okay? You're gonna insert the line through it and you're gonna double up like that. Now, you're gonna bring this tag in here, you're just gonna make a loop like that. Just like that, okay? Once again, and I just hold it with my thumb and index finger like that. Now you're gonna use, take this tag and you're gonna go through that hole about five to six times. But for this demonstration, I just do a few times only because the line's kind of thick, okay? So once again, go over, go through that loop, all right, just like that. And then you're gonna tighten it up, okay? So make sure you sal salivate it, put water on it, so to reduce friction, okay? Now you wanna tighten that up when you tighten that up, don't pull by the main line and the swivel or the hook because right there it's gonna create a lot of friction which creates a lot of heat and it'll warp your mono line, okay? So instead, just grab it by the, the loop, grab it by that knot and just pull up 
by the main line, okay, just like that, okay, and then just cut off your tag end, okay. So that is a uni the uni knot. You can use a rake or a net to catch these sand crabs, but on this beach they were so far in between that it was just easier to dig into the sand and grab them. You also want to make sure they have eggs. They have the orange egg. Um, I think it's at the head section. It's hard to see in that picture that I included, but the eggs are bright orange and it's pretty obvious. You really can't miss it. Now some people prefer the soft shell sand crabs, but I couldn't find any on this beach. So in this episode, I was using the hard shell sand crabs. Now here's how they burrow into the sand. It's kind of cool looking and they're, they're not very deep at all. They're but about half inch to about four inches in the sand. Sometime you're walking on the sand or you're standing there while surf fishing and you feel that slight crunch sound underneath your foot. Those are sand crabs. Most beach on the Oregon coast have sand crabs and they make excellent, excellent light bait for surf fishing. The best part is that these bait are free so you don't have to pay anything at all. When you cast your bait, make sure you do it gently. Don't just swing your rod really hard because the sand crabs are pretty soft. They fly off pretty easily. Oh, yeah, fish on, fish on guys, there we go. That was on a sand crab. This is my first fish of the day. Man, it's been a really, really slow day. Been out here about one hour. I keep on getting a little taps. Nothing big. Usually when they bite, when they bite kind of, you know, rapidly, a small tap, they're usually the little guy. But this one, he took it kind of hard. Feels pretty good. Yeah, he's not bad, he's a keeper. He's a keeper on the sand crab, guys. There we go, first fish of the day. My first red tail in like ages. All right, guys, there we go. My very first red tail in a very long time. And uh, this is actually a first. I caught this on a sand crab. Um, I know sand crabs work really well. I've used them uh, many times in the past. Um, but this is the, actually the very first time that I, I caught it with a sand crab. I know people swear by it. Lots of people um, catch them on sand crab. And you know, one time I fished with a uh, with a friend. He was standing next to me. He was out fishing me with a sand crab, and I was using sandworms. So I know they work, but for some reason I've had no luck until today. So this is my very first fish with it. Okay, pretty awesome. So let's see if we can get some more, huh? Whoa, yeah! Hit it, Alec. Alec's got a nice one on. It looks like a good one. Feels good. Yeah, nice. I was hoping he'll take that middle one. I know. I kind of want to see if it's hook preference, you know? Yep. On the sandworm again? Yep. Nice. There's a rinky dink piece, too. It was almost nothing left. Right on. Fish on guys, another one. There we go. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that's a nice one. I haven't felt that in ages. Heck yeah. There we go. On the sand crab again. Come on, buddy. Please don't come off. Just gonna walk back and bring him on shore. He feels about the same size as the last one. Which I'll be happy with that, cause that's a, yeah, that's a nice one. There we go, guys. See that? 
He took that bait pretty good. There we go, fish number two. Hey, look how they, uh, look how they bit this. Remember what I told you about that orange egg? Yeah. That's all he took, see that? Uh, the head part. That's crazy. Yep, that's all they focus on. guys you know this is a I like this new setup this is probably the first time I've used a Carolina rig set up here on the Oregon coast oh man that was a nice hit too it's like he just inhaled it I'm just gonna let that wave bring it in sometimes you don't want to horse them in because you'll rip off the lips just let the wave bring it back onto shore. Makes it a lot easier and you don't lose them. He feels pretty good. Oh yeah. Oh wow, he's a big one guys. He's a huge one. Holy moly. Whoa, check that out. That is huge. That's a, this is definitely the biggest fish I've ever caught in a long time. Wow. Look at that. Jeez. the cast I'm telling you guys <laughs> all these times I've been using the sandworms but today's my lucky day the good thing about the sand crabs are free it doesn't cost anything just come to the beach dig in the sand and you can get them he's another nice one all of these on the sand on the sand crabs are a pretty good size. There it is right there guys. Number what? Four? Yeah, four. Right on. There's a little jellyfish on the clear things here. Is that a jellyfish? Don't know. Alright. Oh. oh damn. Missed! that one slowly with that one and he took it probably about midway the wind is picking up so we might make this our last fish oh, oh he saw me he didn't like that wow 
I gotta back up a little bit. He's a fighter. He's a fighter. He's coming in though. That wave's gonna bring him in. There we go. Oh man, these are holy moly! These are huge guys. Woo! Oh, look at that hook set. Right in the mouth, lower jaw. There's no way that's coming off right there. Awesome. I don't know what fish, I think this is number five, four or five. All right, there we go, guys. There's another one. Now this is, uh, I think, I, I don't know which one's bigger, either this one or the other one I caught, but the ones I'm catching on live bait are pretty big. This one's about 12 or 13 again. So, all right, guys, I guess we'll make this a last fish. The wind's picking up pretty good, so we're gonna get on out of here. Hey guys, well thanks for watching. So let's just show you our two biggest fish right here. They're about a pound and a half, maybe close to two pounds. All right, had a, had a great time fishing out here with Alec. Thanks for coming, Alec. No problem. Put a link in the description to his channel. Be sure to check it out. Fun times on sand crabs. All right guys, see you next time. Have fun fishing, tight lines.